Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as a part of the series uh, in link query, so we have seen of quite few examples starting from the basic where query and we have seen how to write uh, a query to fetch the uh, matching rows that are there in two different columns of two different data tables. So now let's see um, a next uh, the other version of it like a uh, so in order to re, uh, get the values that are not matching. So let's see, I have given that as an assignment in the previous video. So it's it's quite simple. So I've provided it as an assignment. Um, if you are still not able to get it, it uh, we can go through in this video. So if you're someone watching this video for the first time under the link queries, so I suggest you to go and watch the previous videos, then you get the clear understanding of what we are doing in this query right now. So yeah. Um, in this query, so what exactly we are doing is just similar to the uh, the previous query that we are using for extracting the matching rows. It's just that we have to understand what we are writing. Um, so before explaining you to extract the non-matching values, first we we know that we have used this query in order to extract the matching values, right? So what exactly this means? So first of all, we have to understand inside this where function we have uh, one more function which is this right so what this exactly returning is it is returning the collection of the rows where um, if any of the values so first we have to understand what this any function would return so to understand that let me just remove this copy to data table <clears throat> so you can see mm. Let me cut this till here. <clears throat> so if you just observe here, it is very clear that this any function would return a sequence that contains, uh, I mean, it, it determines whether a sequence contain any elements or not. And also you can see the return type is of Boolean, right? So this any function would um, give a Boolean value if the, uh, you know, whatever the, row element line item is there under item name of this particular data table. Sorry, this data table is matching with the row element in this data table. So here it is a little bit confusing if you are watching this for the first time. So uh, try to understand the basics properly, then it's very clear. So here we are actually comparing two different data tables. So let's consider this is a row of uh, the values that we are getting from this data table. This is the row that we are getting from this data table. This is clear, right? So if these both are matching, it's going to return a Boolean, which is true, right? So if this is true, then we are extracting uh, as a collection of data rows, correct? So as innumerable always uh, provides, returns a collection of data rows. We can observe here. Right. So this returns a collection of data rows that we are uh, performing uh, a where function again inside this. This whole thing is in, inside a where function. So what I'm going to do exactly here, I am going to copy this into my data table. It's just that. So this is what we have done in the previous uh, video. So now I don't want uh, the values that are matching. So what I'm just simply doing or not, right? So here, if the values are matching, I don't want them. I want the ones which are not matching, right? So that's why I've just kept a not, which will return me the values which are not matching in between the two different data tables. So let's just run this and see what is the output of it? So we will get a, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I just have to comment this out. I had uh, one more query there. Let me run this now. Okay, it has run and we can see the output in to not process. I'm taking the same Excel that I have taken in the previous example in order to, you know, keep it clear for you. So if you just observe here, we are 
Let me go over the reference sheet. This is monthly reference sheet, monthly purchase sheet, and this is reference sheet. So we can cross check and see what exactly we are getting. Okay. So monthly purchase sheet. Okay. So what uh, we are doing? Uh, if this value is not matching with the one that is there in the reference sheet, we want uh, to know what are the eliminated values or whatever the things that we are not processing. In this, so let's go over here. Okay, so just observe. Let me keep them side by side. So this is my reference sheet, right? So if you see, we have all of this, right? So um, I can just cross check here and with this do not process. So Lenovo laptop is there, and if you cross check that in my reference sheet, it's not there, correct? So it's not there, but it is there from the monthly purchase sheet and Michi powder and book. So it's not there and different box, cup set. Again, we have the Lenovo laptop, Mish powder book. So these are the duplicates that we have. Okay, so this is pretty much. So we are taking the values that we are not processing. So in the previous example, we are taking the ones that we are processing. So if we want to know that these are the items that are not present in the reference sheet, and if you wanted to add them up, this sheet will be useful. Okay, so I think it's pretty much clear for you. So now what we're gonna do? Um, this is this is very simple example just that we have to understand what we are writing in a query so for your convenience i can provide the query in the description so you can just take it and you can just apply for whatever the example that you have with you right there and okay this is one um, thing that we can do with where and so i i just came up with some small uh, other uses that we can uh, you know apply with where so for that I've taken a query. So, okay, uh, I'm just deleting everything over here and let's write it from the beginning, uh, how we can do that. So now uh, we know how to write a basic uh, where, uh, I mean, basic link query using where, right? So now what we're going to do, uh, so let's consider this is my reference sheet, right? But uh, let's go for the monthly purchase sheet. So in this monthly purchase sheet, what I'm going to do is, um, I'll write a function in such a way that, okay, just delete this. So now let's take um, something or, you know, we can, we can just filter this out by using, <clears throat> So let's say we know, right? This contains the rows of a uh, data monthly table. And I am going to take the quantity. And so till here, we know that it returns the collection of rows that are matching this, right? But here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to provide something like, you know, we we all we can see that we have multiple, uh, multiple functions over here, right? So last, and we have length, we have minimum, maximum. So we have multiple functions here. So let's try to, um, you know, use one of the function here and see how this actually works. So we have select. Uh, so we'll go to the select later, but let's go with the one small function. So I'm just taking length. So if the length is five or we're taking the quantity right so let's go with item description i'm copying the item description so if the item description whatever we are getting from there if the length is five only then we wanted to print that so do we have anything with such length as five okay i cannot see with length as five but with length four there are so many so let's go with length four okay so whatever I'm getting it, um, we all know that it will be in a form of a data, uh, a da collection of data rows, right? So I'm going to I'm going to copy everything into a data table. Okay. 
all right so just that so we're just enhancing i mean we are just putting it up into a next level so i'm just going to copy everything into the sheet 2 so let's close this run so where is my output uh it's under to not process so under sheet 2 i have all the uh items that are having the length of four right so this is how we can do so now let's say if you, if i wanted to extract um everything that uh, under this sheet i wanted to filter it one more time so let's say i wanted to extract the items which are having a quantity of uh, three so how can we do that? How can we write that? So for that, let me just tell you how we can use it. So till here, we are clear, right? So this, this is going to return us all the data rows that is having a length of four under the column item description. So now we have to attach it to a one more condition. So for that, we know we have to use where function and just the same, you have to replicate. I'll copy and paste this. So we, we are using the same function of row, row where we, we are not interested in item description anymore. We want quantity, right? We want quantity dot two string and it should. So again, we have multiple functions over here, right? So I'm going for contains, which contains three right so it's just that and then just close this uh, where function and whatever the values we, it is returning i wanted to take it into a data table copy to data table right it's pretty simple if you understand the concept clearly you can just try to enhance in any scenario that you encounter so i'm just closing this So just try to write the queries on uh, multiple scenarios that you encounter. So then you can understand the actual, you know, why we are writing a piece of code. You can understand it. So once if you understand, you can just apply it on any of the scenario that you encounter. Okay, let me, we have taken it as, okay. Let me delete this sheet because I have, uh, I, I'm just having it from my previous one. Okay, it is uh, returning everything in a sheet two. I missed it out uh, to get it in a sheet three. Let's delete that. So this is what it has written. It has uh, given me, okay, to make it more clear, what I'm going to do is, uh, first let's get everything into a sheet two. Uh, I'm until here. So this will provide everything into my sheet too. And later I will apply that condition which will provide the output in sheet three. Okay. So this is just uh, the same thing I've done. And here I'm gonna provide this. Okay. And I'll just run the file. Oh, sorry. So silly things that I forget to change sometimes. Okay, cool. So now uh, let's go and check it out in the sheet three, whatever the output that we have, okay? So we've got this, right? So it's just that uh, 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 we can enhance the value that we have uh, whatever the queries that we are learning from the basics we can just try to apply once after we understand what exactly we are writing like if a query means something we can understand it and we can just write it out so now you can see 
this is the uh, condition that satisfies whatever we've written in the link query. So it has to be a four uh, length of four and it should contain a quantity of three, right? This is what this is how you can just write multiple where and uh, you can also we, we've also seen that how we can, uh, you know, uh, identify the rows that are not matching, how we can identify rows that are matching and also how we can use uh, you know a function with uh, where function one more function with where function and also multiple where functions so this is all pretty much in this video if you are able to uh, find this video useful please do like and also share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm going to come up with uh, multiple other scenarios by using different functions like group by join select and all this so i believe uh, this is pretty much useful for all of you thank you so much for watching